Hi Pisces, it's Nick. Welcome to a new week. We're covering December 2nd to December 8th. I hope you guys are doing good. And if I look tired or seem tired, it's because I am. You're my last reading of the day after three full days of filming back to back. So I'm a little exhausted and like burnt out with readings and filming, but I'm glad this is the last one and we saved the best for last. So let's get right into it. This is from my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. We're going to do a check-in where your mind is at, clarify where your heart is at, clarify, and then we'll go into your health, career work finances, and love, romance, dating, or relationships, okay? And I did already post the weekly astrological energies video, so if you haven't already, make sure to go watch that and check that out because there's a lot of stuff going on this week. And you just want to be aware because we may all be kind of hit with a bunch at once this week with the retrogrades, Mercury and Mars retrograde. I'm already probably feeling it. So let's see. And then um, I'll have the link to the extended reading below in the description box if you're interested afterwards as a part two and a continuation. All right, let's see for all my Pisces, where is their mind at? So what are you thinking of? What's on your brain? All right, and then where's your heart at? What are you feeling? All right, and let's see, why, let's clarify. Why are you thinking about this? Why is this on your mind? And why clarify, are you feeling this? Why is this in your heart? All right, so Pisces, it looks like here, when it comes to what you're thinking about, so what's on your mind, what you're trying to make logic reason, reason with, is something that made you uh, either get offended or feel resentment. So you may be kind of res resentful or bitter or offended by a person, place, or thing, um, or something upset you, someone upset you possibly. And uh, to clarify or why is a page of cups. So there may have been a message here uh, that was either given, uh, sent to you, passed to you, or maybe you sent a message, but maybe it wasn't returned and you, you kind of are offended because you're like, man, that was like, I said something really nice to this person, or I was being really, uh, supportive or charitable yet. They didn't even have the like decency to like say thank you or respond or something maybe. It could have been involving a younger water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or just like you did it out of the goodness of your heart. You sent a nice uplifting message, support, or maybe invited someone, invited someone to do something, or you said something really nice, but maybe you didn't get the feedback that you were hoping for, or maybe this person ignored you or didn't say thank you. Whatever the case is, someone did something out of the goodness of their heart, but maybe it wasn't returned or it wasn't received and now you're kind of like offended or feeling a little bit bitter about that or that's on your mind. And what you're feeling or what you're going through emotionally is discouragement. So you're kind of feeling a little disheartened, dispirited for some reason. And to clarify why is the seven of wands. So the reason why you could be feeling kind of like disheartened or dispirited is because you've been receiving some backlash, some hate, or haters or jealousy or feeling like uh, going through some frustrations that you feel like you have to uh, or negativity that's being thrown your way that you have to defend yourself and the fact that you have to do that just puts you in this like really dispirited you know state like let's say you know you were trying to do something nice but now people are you know throwing shade at you or making you feel like you're not loved or supported or like your efforts are not acknowledged and you're like man why do i have to defend myself for something i didn't do or you're kind of feeling attacked and it's frustrating you and it almost makes you feel like oh what's the point should i even try like damned if you do damned if you don't kind of energy so um yeah you're kind of dealing you might be dealing with something like that this week so let's see what's going on and there is a lot of like spicy energy in the sky with all this fire and remember mercury is in retrograde and it's debilitating sagittarius mars is in retrograde and it's in leo and we have the, all this like rebellious aquarius energy going on this week as well so uh try not to take things to heart don't take it too personal everyone's kind of like feeling chaotic and doesn't know what to do so try not to take things a little too personal or to heart if uh, someone says something or offends you in some way, shape, or form. All right, let's see. So what's going on when it comes to your health, body, mind, soul, spirit, and then clarify why. All 
All right, so you guys got here the Four of Cups, and then to clarify, Ace of Pentacles. All right, so Pisces, when it comes to your health, it feels like you're um, kind of feeling emotional or feeling like something is missing. Maybe you're unsatisfied with something or you're kind of in like a weird mood or weird funk uh, or feeling off. You just may be feeling off. Maybe it's like that time of month or getting close to that time of month for my ladies out there. So that's probably why you're kind of feeling this way. You're feeling a little moody, you're off or uncomfortable, or you're just in some kind of mood. Something is kind of making you feel some type of way, but maybe you can't pinpoint exactly why. And the reason you may be experiencing this, or to clarify, is the Ace of Pentacles. So there's some kind of new beginning. Maybe you're going through growing pains, or you're doing something new. You're growing uh, muscle, growing tissues, growing um, or you've you've incorporated maybe some new regimen some new lifestyle or doing things in a new way so it you, you it may be kind of throwing you off a little bit or it's not as fun to do so uh there is some kind of opportunity here for a new beginning and i think this is something practical something that you've been maybe doing or taking or practicing when it comes to your health but it's not exactly fun it doesn't feel good doesn't taste good it's like if you go on a diet or a cleanse and now you're not eating the stuff that you want to eat and it kind of sucks throws you off whereas like when you eat sweets or chocolate or something you like it's like hmm, you know immediate endorphins so there is some new regimen or new thing that you implemented but it's making you kind of feel like uh, like boring or it sucks or you don't like it maybe okay all right let's see what what's going on when it comes to your work school career and finances ah uh, that's real life my little baby like when i'm not filming or working i'm like full mom mode and it's like a 24 7 job <laughs> all right let's see so what's going on when it comes to your work school career and finances and then clarify and i think sometimes you know if you've never if you don't have kids or you've never been around like small children and kids you may sometimes like get the impression when you see online social media that like oh it's just like so fun and giggles and but that's not really you know reality a lot of times they're like making messes and getting into trouble and crying and screaming but you don't really see that all the time on camera but that's what goes on behind closed doors <laughs> but it's it comes with the territory you can't have one without the other it's cuteness it's cries it's poop it's pee it's food all over the place it's just what it is all right so when it comes to your work school career and finances you guys got here the seven of swords and to clarify king of swords all right so what's going on this week in this area of life for you pisces is that you're gonna be have you're gonna have to be aware that there could be some betrayal or someone who's trying to take advantage of you or not being honest with you possibly could be a uh, air sign Aquarius Libra Gemini or someone who's really logical kind of cutthroat all about you know money business they don't really care about feelings and emotions or doing exactly the right thing although it is coming up in the this person's energy if this is the person's coming up in the upright. Um, if it is involving someone else. So it's not like they're trying to hurt you, but um, really I think this is your energy that because you were looking for the truth or you're really being clear and um, honest with yourself and you're really trying to do the right thing, you're noticing or you're realizing some you know, some things that were missing or uh, noti starting to realize that some things don't add up, like the math ain't mathin', as they say. And you realize maybe someone was trying to scam you or trick you out of your money or do a shady deal with you. Um, and because you were doing your research or looking through things and uh, you you are smart, you have the intellect and uh, you're being really like focused and figure, uh, trying to figure out, you know, things to the little details and you're communicating, you're able to see and uh, discover maybe shadiness, lies, deception, scams, fraudulent activities, um, things like that. So this is a week where you kind of have to be careful who you're connecting with, what don't just share private information with anyone, um, especially if you get weird, suspicious phone calls, texts, emails, things like that. Um, and you could discover maybe at work, school, or with your finances that 
uh, there could have been some shadiness going on or maybe you're not getting paid the right amount or uh, maybe someone lied or uh, said they were going to do something and they didn't do it. So just be kind of mindful, be extra aware this week. Not Don't be like paranoid or scared, but there just could be some miscommunication, misunderstandings, but also lies, deceit, um, or someone or something not being honest with you. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on when it comes to your relationship. So, um, where your energy is at and then the other side for this other person, if you're not dealing with anyone, you're a robot at home, just look at it as your shadow self. Okay. All right. So for all my Pisces, what's going on with the relationships on their side, their energies. Okay. Now other person or their shadow. Man, we're like going through it this week, Pisces. Saturn is direct, so. All right, shared mutual energy. Okay, <laughs> so Pisces, on your side, your energies, you guys got the three of swords. And on this other person's side, their energies or your shadow self, we got the queen of swords. And then the shared mutual energy between the two is the eight of swords. Lots of swords here, so lots of logic, reasoning, communication, or maybe lack of communication. So you could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Super Gemini, or um, you're really having to like see the truth, see the reality of certain things within yourself and have some hard conversations, hard realizations. And there's a lot of Aquarius energy in the sky this week. So um, there could be a lot of things that people are being like thrown at or just intense energies that everyone's kind of going through. So don't feel like you're the only one. So on your side here, you're kind of feeling, you you may be going through some kind of heartbreak. Maybe there was some kind of breakup or disconnect or an argument or someone said something to you or about you, but you're feeling hurt. Maybe you haven't talked to someone or they didn't respond to you or they like hurt you in some way, shape or form. So you're feeling kind of wounded, hurt um, either to, oops, oh my gosh, to like a small degree or you're really kind of going through it. So some form of heartbreak. And this person here or your shadow self is maybe being kind of like cold, detached, um, indifferent maybe to you or to your feelings, or you may be feeling like this person doesn't, uh, is being honest or like they are trying to be honest, but maybe their way of going about it and their way of communicating with you comes off kind of very like cold and detached. Like they have no feelings in involved here or they're not showing any like compassion maybe. Or I do feel here also that this person is, uh, listening to you and trying to make sense, trying to be like the voice of reason or give you some hard truths. Like maybe they're just really trying to give you some like solid advice um, or tell you what you need to hear, but it may not be exactly what you want to hear. Um, but they didn't realize maybe their way of saying it may have hurt your feelings or it may have been a little too like cutthroat and blunt and direct. Um, and remember Mercury's in retrograde. It is in Sagittarius. So it's very feisty and very kind of uh, blunt. So naturally people may like their mouth could get them in trouble and so try not to take things too personally because people may say certain things but maybe it was just their way of saying it, it came across extra negative but maybe it, that wasn't the intention it just kind of came across that way and so they may have not meant to hurt you but maybe the way they said something it did rub you the wrong way or just kind of like hurt your feelings even though they were kind of being direct or honest, truthful. Your shared mutual energy is the Eight of Swords. So both of you are kind of struggling a little bit. Both of you are kind of feeling stuck, um, spending too much time maybe thinking about the wrong things or fears, doubts, insecurities, blockages, or communication between the two of you is a little bit tricky right now. And both of you don't either don't know what to say, don't know how to feel, don't know what you should say or what you should communicate or not communicate. Or you could also just be both dealing with health issues, not feeling well, and um, or feeling kind of like you can't speak your truth or you can't say what you want to say, uh, but you also feel like you do need to say it, but you can't. 
So communications, like you both are struggling here and this person maybe doesn't want to hurt you, but they also want to be honest with you and you are just feeling hurt. So like when you're hurt, you almost like just don't even want to talk to them or you don't want to say anything. So communication uh, is a little tricky this week, but you also just want to take like don't be too hard on yourself, but also don't be too hard on this other person um, and maybe give each other some like space and time as the heavy energies kind of like subside. So let's continue on in the extended and get more information, see what you have to look forward to. <coughs> <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I had to sneeze. Um, what you have to look forward to, what to look out for, uh, what is there could be blocking you? What is there could help you? And then your advice at the end. Okay, so we'll continue on in the extended a link will be below or I'll have it uh, up as a card or pinned up in the comments. And if not, I'll see you for your next reading and I wish you guys all the best. All right, take care.